Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Lyra or a Sagittarius. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you, Virgos, and leave the rest. Anybody interested in the personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Um, cross watcher, if you are in here, feel free to flip the roles if you're dealing with a Virgo. But Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos dealing with a fire sign? For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy here? Okay, and going, thank you, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So the first card that came out, it says, I'll be back. And then going forward, we have a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. So what is this? Thank you, Spirit. I'll be back. Some of you, a fire sign wants to gift you something here. But let's see. What is I'll be back? So we have, yeah, I don't know if they want to bring you flowers or whatever here. Now the number 30 could be significant, okay. But it's also giving me the energy of the three, right? So it's kind of, I'm seeing the three of wands, which is that energy. So this could be definitely someone who is coming towards you, right? Um, the Lily card does talk, someone's name could be Lily, but the Lily card does talk about an energy of maturity. It can talk about um, this fire sign may be older than you, or you may be um, older than this person. But the Lily card also talks about peace and harmony and balance kind of energy. This is also giving me the energy of wisdom. So it's almost like I want to say that for some of my Virgos, you may be almost like wise beyond your time. You may just hold a lot of knowledge or information. What's going forward? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. What's that? Okay. So the card that we have going forward is the mouse. <laughs> um, and the mouse card talks about someone who, you know, they they it's almost like an energy of anxiety. This could be an energy of worry, stress. Right. This does also talk about depletion. It talks about a thief, disease, and it talks about flaw. Okay. It's reminding me of something from yesterday. Um, what videos did I do yesterday? <laughs> because I read it at the top of the book and I had already finished recording. So I, it's like it's not like I could really go back and, you know, and I was thinking, should I put it in the comments? And then I was like, no, nah, let me just leave it. But it kept bothering me. I was like, well, who needs to know this? And I don't know why they're giving it to me during the fire signs. Now, it could have been in the general message I did yesterday. And I'm not even going to lie, right? After I finished press record, I don't know why this is coming up. I'm sorry. But after I finished kind of press record, I was looking at the cards just before I put them away. And then I even read it up here because I was like, should I? Shouldn't I? Am I supposed to tell somebody this? Um, It was, you can go back to the video and you'll see the cards that were lined up. I think they were over here, right? Um, It was the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands. The three of swords, the ace of wands reversed. And spirit kept saying to me, an infection. And I was like, 
I didn't see it when I obviously I was reading the cards, you know, but it was when I switched it off and I'm sitting looking at the cards and I'm thinking to myself, you know, did I miss anything? And that stood out to me um, very clearly. So I don't know what, let's see what comes out in the cards, because that could be a message for someone here, right? Especially with that Knight of Wands, right? You definitely could be a fire sign. Um, for some of you, I don't know, it kind of feels like if you reconcile with a fire sign, again, this is a general message. I can't say this is for you or you, you know, but for someone, if you reconcile with a fire sign, I feel like you're going to end up heartbroken, okay, or, or in some sort of sadness because the Three of Cups talks about reconciliation or reunited and it feels so good, right? The Knight of Wands, we know, is an energy. It can be of a, a a younger fire sign. It can be a player energy, the Knight of Wands, right? Someone who likes to explore their options, etc., right? And then you've got this Three of Swords, which talks about pain and sadness and hurt. And with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, again, it could represent an infection, but it could just also represent that. Maybe there's a fire sign here that wants to reunite with you, but you're just not interested. And maybe they're in the Three of Swords. Oh, okay. What is this I'll be back? And this Lily energy. Thank you, Spirit. So, we, <laughs> I don't know. It's the Seven of Swords. <laughs> this is a liar, a cheater, a thief. Okay? This is someone who would go out of their way to come in and pretend they're a friend when they really have underlying motives. This is someone who feels like they're clever with the swords, right? An energy of strategy. But I'm looking at this Seven of Swords in this deck and this person, yes, they're sneaking away, right? But they haven't got all seven swords in their hand. They only have five swords and they've left two swords in the ground. So I don't know if this is someone you have at some sort of, um, I don't know if you have this person blocked. I don't know if this person is going to be at some sort of crossroads because I, I don't know if they're going to be able to come close to you to do whatever this Seven of Swords is. The five of swords that this person is holding represents defeat. But it does also represent that this person may be, like I said, at some sort of crossroads with you. And the five of swords energy is I'm going to do anything. I'm going to say anything to be able to get close to the Virgo for whatever reason. What is this? Look at the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. I don't know. I saw the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Swords. I don't know if this person, you know, if you work with Archangel Michael, they may want to kind of like, you know, take heed, take warning here. Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. What is this energy? The Nine of Swords coming out in the reverse. The Ace of Swords in the upright. What's the Seven of Swords? The Knight of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. That makes the Three of Pentacles energy. This is someone who feels like they're trying to make some sort of plan how to come towards you here to offer you something, right? To, to, it's almost like the energy of um, teamwork or building together or collabing here. Or them just coming towards you and saying they want to work with you, okay? But this feels like someone who with I'll be back. Almost like an energy of... Let me get the rest of the cards. <laughs> I was going to say an energy of delusional. This person may be delusional. They may be creating illusions in their head here. This may be someone who doesn't like to be in the energy of feeling defeated. This could be someone who doesn't take rejection very well. Give me one more on that seven of swords. Yeah, I just saw the magician. All right, give me one more on that seven of swords. One more on that seven of swords, spirit. Whew. 
Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles in the... <laughs> One more on that Seven of Swords. Virgos, make sure you use your discernment in these situations, okay? you got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and you have the Emperor in the reverse. So you definitely could be dealing with an Aries. Or this fire sign may be a father figure, right? You may have children with this person. This could even be your own father. For some of you, this may be a work situation, just make sure if this, like the image I'm getting for work, make sure that you don't have a boss that is overdoing their control, like overworking you here, right? Abusing their power. And, and maybe it's like, you, they, maybe there's some delays when it comes to your finances, right? Maybe this is a workplace where they, they're never kind of getting your money right. Make sure this isn't a workplace where you have a boss. He's always promising you something but never delivers. And for others of you, this is a fire sign. And I want to say Aries, right? Unless you know better. Because I'm getting strong Leo as well. I don't know where the Sag is. <laughs> but uh, this could be someone who is experiencing some sort of financial difficulties. And they feel like, because maybe you look stable and secure. Hey, I'm going to go over to the Virgo. And I'm going to use any trick in the book. Just to get my foot through the door. You could be dealing with a narcissist. Someone who would do anything for money. What's this Nine of Swords in the reverse? What's the Nine of Swords in the reverse? Because the Nine of Swords in the reverse talks about someone who is not stressed. They're not having anxiety. This is someone who it talks about letting go of negativity and stress. So for some of others, you're not even worried about this person. You could be in this energy of the lily, right? Where you just... I don't know. Maybe you do gardening. But this woman looks like she's tending to her flowers. She ain't look like she doesn't look like she got a care in the world. She looks at peace. She looks unbothered. Free and unencumbered here. What's this nine of swords in the reverse? Thank you, Spirit. Three of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> this talks about releasing pain, overcoming any kind of depression. This is you letting go, and it feels like for some of you, forgiving. You may not even have had a conversation with this fire sign. But there is something here that you have released. I've heard, I'm hearing you have accepted something. Okay. Nine of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse. What is this? The Page of Swords. Oh, and they see this. <laughs> they see this, Virgos. Now, the Page of Swords can talk about an energy of curiosity. This person could have been patiently waiting maybe for you to reach out and communicate with them. Or maybe they're curious as to why you ain't. So this is someone who is spying on you somehow. What is the Page of Swords? The Death card. Yeah, because some of my voters, you have, you've transformed here. You've had some sort of new beginning. Or like I said, you know, you've accepted some sort of ending. And, and now you're just moving forward. Death card talks about an energy of releasing. If it doesn't serve you, why are you holding on? What's this Ace of Swords? Because the Page of Swords can also talk about some sort of delayed information. And then you have this Ace of Swords, which can talk about bringing clarity. What is this Ace of Swords? The Ace of Swords is also an energy of victory here, Virgos. Now, the card is coming out sideways, and I'm going to take it in the upright. Because I feel like for some of you, this is what this person was trying to do. And maybe you even realize that here with the Hermit. 
Maybe you have some sort of clarity about this person or you know some sort of truth. Some of you, you know that this person was trying to stop you from moving forward with the eight of wands coming out sideways. This talks about travel. It talks about things happening um, really quickly for you. Some of you could be traveling soon. But this talks about an energy of gaining momentum. This is someone who knows that you're going to move forward. They feel you leaving them behind. What's the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands? <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this makes the Nine of Wands energy here, Virgo. So again, some of you, this fire sign put you through a lot. Right? That wounded warrior energy. And they could be wondering, how the hell did you push through that? How are you getting through that here? Because of determination and willpower, because of strength, and because you recognize what this person was trying to do. What is this? Yeah, six of wands. King of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Yeah, you dropped some sort of burden here. Some of you, you had to learn to love you. Now, what is this? A strong woman or a man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink in this mouse. <laughs> okay. What is the energy here? My Virgo is in with a fire sign. Aries, Leo or a Sag. Ten of Wands. I mean, Ten of Swords, sorry. Wants to show me more. The Two of Swords. Okay. And the Hanged Man. Why are you not still stuck? With everything that I tried to do, with all the blockages that I tried to put in your way here, right? With all the betrayal, with all the lies, the bad mouthing with this Ten of Swords. For some of you, this person maybe even cursed you. We'll see what comes out. Let's pray the magician don't fall out on top of this B-I-T-C-H. This is someone who tried to ruin you. This is someone who tried to walk all over you and you may have fell down. But like I said, for some of my Virgos, you stood back up. And this person was like, well, I wanted you to stay down. I'm hearing it's easier to control you when you're down. I don't know who you're dealing with. There's that nine of wands. This person could even have worked with people. Could have worked with family. What's this ten of swords? The eight of pentacles. What did I just say? I don't know if they were trying to destroy some sort of business that you have or something that you put a lot of work into. Something that you built on your own here, Virgos, with the nine of pentacles energy. You could even be like, you know, a CEO, self-employed. But there is something that for some of us, you're very skilled at. You put it, like I said, you, you, you've been committed to something. What's this Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles? What is this coming out sideways? The Page of Wands. They wanted to block you from speaking or block you from receiving some sort of good news. I'm hearing the word alkylates. Al is that how you say it? I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> alkylates. I think that's what I'm hearing. What is the page of wands? Yeah, ace of pentacles with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. They didn't want you seizing opportunities with the six of wands. What's the eight of pentacles with the page of wands? With the ten of swords. The nine of pentacles fell out again. On the page of swords. You're still in the upright. You're still thriving here. You're still receiving your rewards. Right? The energy of your fruits of your labor. You put the labor in. You get the product. Some of us you're destined for. I want to say abundance. You are destined to have a stable and secure life. Whether you're on your own or whether you're in a partnership. 
But your destiny is your destiny, right? What's this two of swords? Coming out sideways. Landed on the eight of wands. There's someone who wanted to block something coming towards you. They wanted to block your happiness, your freedom. Uh, they wanted to uh, affect um, your vibrations here. Or they don't want you to see something for some of you with that two of swords and the sun. The sun can talk about exposure. What is in the darkness will come to light. What's the two of swords and the sun? <laughs> this. <laughs> the two of wands and the emperor. What's the two of wands and the emperor? The ten of wands. And the four of wands. They don't want you to know that they're struggling in a home situation or... Maybe this is someone who is, is, is homeless or something like that. This could also be they don't want you to know that they're struggling in a relationship. Or did you? I don't know if you heard the bird. <laughs> they don't want you to know that they have some sort of burdens. They want you to see them as the emperor in the upright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just came out in the reverse. Listen. <laughs> Give me one card. Three of wands in the reverse. Yeah, I'll be back. Three of Wands in the reverse. It talks about returning from travels. Again, what did I say? It talks about moving home, a lack of foresight and planning. I don't know if this is someone who is facing homelessness or they, they need somewhere to stay or... <laughs> What's the hangman? <laughs> Coming out sideways. So this is someone who is feeling stuck for some of you, okay, with the hangman energy. The hangman talks about a lack of direction here. Now, even though they're seeing something from a different perspective, it's almost an energy as well of contemplation. So it's almost like this person really wants to come towards you because they looks like they need some sort of help somehow, some way, okay? <laughs> or this is a, someone who is spiteful and revengeful. They just don't want you to move forward and be happy. It's that energy of misery likes company. But for some of you, this person may need some sort of help or something like that. And maybe you are in a position to give it to them. But you're coming out sideways. So I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles coming out sideways is a blockage as to, listen, you're not somebody that I deal with like that anymore. We, we ain't on that level. <laughs> What's the hangman and the Nine of Pentacles? The temperance. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're at peace. Your ancestors and angels said, hell no. <laughs> you're coming out as an earth angel here, Virgos. What's the temperance? I just feel like your ancestors and angels is just like, for some of you, the, the, the place of, um, I want to say the place of like balance or the inner calm that you have right now. Spirit is like, mm -mm. what's the um, nine of pentacles and the temperance with the hangman? Seven of Cups, show me more. And Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups and the Fool. With the Two of Cups. I'm telling you, this is someone who may be trying to figure out how to get some sort of finances out of you. Or trying to stop you from getting some sort of Ace of Pentacles, okay? Alright, moving on. What's the energy in love? Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy in love? <laughs> Woo! I don't know. For some of you, this person may have had some stupid idea about coming towards you and getting engaged here. Look at that. Let go of control issues. This is someone who's... Okay. So the card coming out, it says free yourself. It says it's time to take back control of your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three cards. What's the energy in love? Um, 
Okay, I'm only going to take the one that fell face up. I don't know what all this is. <laughs> Temptation in the reverse. Power in the reverse. Receptive in the reverse. <laughs> and then you got in the upright. Signs and dreams. Man, I'm surprised we don't have the high priestess out here. Because it's almost like Virgos, you follow the signs. Maybe you get dreams and signs and synchronicities about this person. All right, so the first card coming out, it says guilt. It says, don't let guilt get in the way of happiness. Okay, so don't do anything out of feeling sorry for this person here, Virgos, okay? Um, did I see the King of Cups? I feel like I saw the King of Cups. Don't let this person try to emotionally uh, manipulate you. You have heart. It says you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. Yeah, their heart beats faster because <laughs> you intimidate them for some of you. This mouse. It reminds me of that video where I said, is this a man or is this a mouse? He's going to try to come towards you like a man. And then you have recognition. It says the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. What's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, the temptation. It's funny how I don't have no kings or queens out on the board here. I mean, apart from that emperor that came out in the reverse and then tried to come out in the upright. I don't know, maybe this person is confused. <laughs> uh, uh. What's the energy in love? Virgo's in world fire sign. Did I miss something? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Three cards. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> it landed on the Seven of Swords. You got girl with a snake. So, you know, male, female, you could be dealing with. Um, it says girl with a snake. It says charmed or used. It says enable boundaries. Maybe this person is feeling guilty for choosing somebody over you. But let's see. Oh, coming out sideways is a death. It says a relationship is over. No second chances. It says grow and transform. It says what's dead is dead. And then we have, yeah, it landed on the lily. It says the dragonfly. It says lighthearted and adapt. It says finding out and change. It says things come into light. It says and heal. This is what I feel like you did. And I feel like maybe with that recognition, they actually realize in here. Look at that. And now they want to chase you. Or oh, unless they thought that you was going to chase them. I don't know. But what are we doing? Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Three cards. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. So Virgo's dealing with a Leo. You actually have four cards, but I'm going to put one back. Let's put this one back. I'm not even going to tell you what it was. All right. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. You have hooked. Mm. And you have given money. And then you have no facts. It says never has the facts, makes shit up and lies. Hmm, okay. I don't know if this Leo wants some money from you or like I said, someone here may need some sort of financial help. Someone here with the hooked and giving money. Someone here could be like materialistic as well. No facts. Again, someone here could definitely be a liar. Or maybe someone has a lot to say about certain things, but, you know, they can never kind of back it up. Oh, I'm hearing that song by, um, is that Beyonce? When she says, I walk like this, but I can back it up. And then she goes, um, something about, I don't know, someone here may have a big ego. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. So you have talking shit. <laughs> 
So, oh, you may have an Aries that, um, if you have some sort of platform, you may have like an Aries who's trying to figure out how much money you're making, or they may be reading through your comments and things like that. They could be trying to, I don't know, get some sort of information on you here, but I don't know if they are rejected. It's almost like I see an image as well, somebody trying to maybe like hack into someone's bank account or something like that. This could be an Aries who's holding some sort of grudge with grudge holder, but Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you. So you have scarcity tactics. Yeah, I'm telling you, with giving money, some of you are dealing with an Aries that's trying to get some sort of finances out of you here. Um, and then it came out, dirt digging. It says looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Or someone, I don't know if there's some someone looking for some sort of dirt on an Aries. Virgo's dealing with Sag. Okay, what is this? I don't know why they're kind of giving me this image. Like, if you're dealing with an Aries, this could be an Aries who talked a lot of ish about you, okay? Um... But it feels like they're, they're still kind of obsessed here with you. But Virgo's in with the Sag. We have Karmic Friends landed on the Seven of Swords. Ooh. It says can't fully trust them. It says tension, secret competition. It says keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Virgo's in with the Sagittarius. You have girl fight. It says arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. Be careful of your friend groups, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius here. Or any sign, right? You know your story here. Because someone could be trying to very, um, like, be very, like, sneaky and tricky here. But it's almost like to get you in a position where they're like, okay, do you know what? Let's fight kind of energy. But, and it could be, you know, it looks like they're just jealous here, right? With the competition. Uh, one more. What is this? Screenshot. It says getting evidence, proof and facts. One of the deck, we have bad habits. It says drugs, addictions, and toxicity. That's the card that fell out earlier, and I said I wasn't going to say what it is. Okay. Oh, the drugs and the offer. Be careful about what you're accepting from people here, okay? Again, for some of you, I don't know, someone could be coming towards you, especially with marrying for money here, um, coming towards you because they have some sort of addictions, right? Maybe that's why they want you to help them out financially. What is the overall energy going forward? Virgos dealing with a fire sign. Three cards. One more. Thank you. Damn. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> what do we have here? What's the energy going forward? We have curse. It says hex, witchcraft, and negative mind. So someone may still going to be like projecting some sort of spell work on you. You have breaking point. It says limit, final straw, overwhelmed. You have clouded judgment, illusions, unbalanced, distorted, and karma. Consequences, cause and effect, and debts. Listen, if this is someone going forward and they're still going to kind of be doing some sort of spell work or whatever it is here on you, I feel like <laughs> there's going to be a heavy price to pay, okay? This is, it feels like someone who is not thinking straight, someone who is in a position of almost desperation. So, there goes. That is what I have. Guys, if anything did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.